social distancing continues to be so important. We're mine. I'm for social yep. distancing and more tests. It's a phrase that hardly existed before March 2020. Social distancing is keeping enough distance between you and another person. But when COVID-19 hit the country hard, social distancing became one of the CDC's top recommendations. Stand six feet apart. Stores measured, even marked their floors. Some people even predicted the future. We may be social distancing until at least 2022. August 12th, 2022 to be exact. The CDC is now dropping its more restrictive COVID safety recommendations, including social distancing and quarantines. I think, yeah, it's about time. Let's let's get back to life. I err on the side of yeah. caution. I, I, you know, I'm still, I'm still going to be careful. People reacted to the announcement with a mixture of relief and concern. So now that they're just saying we don't have any guidelines, basically. We had it in... Life has to move on. USF Health's Dr. Jay Wolfson says the CDC's new guidelines point to a new phase for COVID-19. So we've gone from a pandemic stage to pretty much what we call an endemic stage, where this thing is kind of constant in our society. He says COVID will now be treated similarly to the flu. And while two and a half years of restrictions is a long time, Wolfson says some perspective is necessary. Back in, in the days of the 1920s when, when we had the Spanish flu, Tens of millions of people died from this disease, and it took decades before we really figured out how to manage it. We're really ahead of the curve right now. And although the CDC's guidance may have changed, some wonder how much impact those changes will actually have on the world. The world has changed so much in these, you know, going on two and a half years that are we ever going to get back to what it was? Yeah, that's the question. And Dr. Wolfson says the lower death rate in the country was a critical factor in the CDC's decision to end its social distancing and quarantine recommendations, Chris. Uh, Aaron, what did the CDC say, if anything, about masks? Yeah, the CDC is still recommending wearing masks indoors in areas of high community spread, which includes all of Tampa Bay and pretty much all of Florida. It's also encouraging testing for people with symptoms, and the CDC is still urging people who test positive to stay at home for at least five days and then wear a mask around others for 10 days, Chris. And of course, these are recommendations. Um, individual businesses can still enforce whatever policies they like. That's right. All right, thank you, Aaron.